Welcome back, guys. There's the new purchase. What do you think of this 1891 Singer? That's right, guys. It looks like the one in that picture that I showed you in the last video when I went shopping, but it's not. This machine I bought for $20 closer to me. It's just the head, didn't come with anything else, but I have to say it is 100% complete and it moves. As you've seen, I spun the hand wheel. The hand wheel works. The presser foot goes up and down. The cover opens. And lucky for me, the shuttle and Bob and I do believe are still there. This first look, guys, I haven't... Uh, yep, there you go. Still has a bobbin, still has thread on it. I wonder how old that is. Complete. Has the thumb release for the upper tension. The spring is there. It feels really stiff, but it's there. Um, the upper or the uh, presser foot tensioner knob is seized. The presser foot knob is seized and probably the needle. What I'm going to do though, I'm going to do a challenge right now, guys. I'm going to leave this machine dirty the way it is. I'm just going to do this challenge and show you guys that. This machine being 130 years plus, I think it's 132 years old, this machine, being that old will still run a stitch with only adding oil. That's right, guys. This is my challenge. I'm going to only oil this machine. I'm not going to clean it. I'm not going to dismantle it. All I'm going to do is put a brand new needle in it, even though it has a needle. I'm not going to take a chance with this needle. I'm going to put a brand new needle. That's the only thing. Brand new needle and oil and put some thread on this machine and I'm going to make this machine run a stitch without even doing anything to it but oil. You guys ready for that challenge? That's right guys. Anyways, the reason I got this machine is I have another 1891 Singer VS2 um, and it has the New York badge as well. This one has the New York badge. I had asked the question in a previous video about that machine if anybody knew about that and here we are with this machine having that same badge I was gonna I bought this machine for parts for my other machine but I'm actually going to just save this one you can see the decals are very complete this one's worn down here and then we have some chipping along the front of the deck here but even the complete decal appears there there's decals here underneath it here Unfortunately, someone has scratched across and exposed the chrome on a few of them on the back as well. But everything's there, guys. This machine, look at this. This machine moves. Shuttle moves. Doesn't look bent. Everything's there. So, give me a second. I'm going to go get some oil. I'm going to get some thread. And uh, I'm going to flip this machine up. Oil the spots on the undercarriage first. And then I'm going to hit all these oil points. And... Um, yeah, I'll pull this cover off and get some oil in there too. I'm going to give it a fair shake. I'm just going to oil everything. I'm not going to adjust. I'm not going to do anything other than oil. All right? And uh, maybe new thread on this bobbin. Okay, give me a sec. Okay, guys, we'll start here at the uh, front of the machine. So what I'm going to do is I'll put a drip of oil here. Even though all that crappy dirt is still around there. Just going to oil it. I know a lot of you guys are like, oh, why would you do this? I'm just doing this to show you guys that even a machine that is over 100 years old will sew a stitch just like the day it was made. If you just oil it, do your service. Anyways, hope you guys are enjoying my videos. And, uh, are getting ready for the contest you know we're slowly climbing up there in the subscribers and I appreciate you guys doing that but you know what else I'd like if you guys enjoy my videos right over here there's a little thumbs up button it doesn't hurt to touch it. it doesn't cost you anything and the more thumbs up I get the more videos I know you guys will actually like I'm not about making money on my channel or any of that stuff guys 
I'd just like to see the thumbs up to let me know that you guys are enjoying the videos so I can continue to make those same type of videos. I'm not sure if you like all the content I make, but I'm happy you guys come along anyway. I'm having fun doing this. Hopefully you guys are learning some stuff. Anyways, I've made a few friends along the way too. That's pretty cool. That's done. Let's get the cover on that. And uh, maybe start moving down to here with some oil. Alrighty, I'm going to go two drops in each of these holes. Only because this machine's got a lot of dust on it. And I don't think too much right now is going to hurt this machine. And see the stitch knob is sticking out. That's not seized. That's good. It's the first time I've looked at that. Let's get some oil on that. And I'm going to set that to the longest stitch. Oh, that's stiff. Well, let's get some oil. Look at that. <laughs> Spring's not even working there. Let's get some oil on that. All right. There we go. That's better. Okay, that moves. That's a good sign. Let's get a little drop of oil in there. There we go. Alright. Let's put one right on those gears just to get that bob and winder working. Alright, where else do we got here? Let's get down to the bottom. Okay, here we are at the bottom, and we can see this machine's been sitting for a while, so let's just get all that crap out of there. Just a quick dusting here. Now, I don't recommend you guys do what I'm doing here. I'm just doing this to show you guys that even though these machines are over 100 years old, it's amazing that they'll just run a stitch if you just oil them. This is not bad shape, actually. It's pretty clean. Considering that some build up here over the years, but other than that, all the parts and pieces look fine. So let's get some uh, oil on here. So I'm going to get a drop right here on the bell. Anywhere there's a contact point, I like to get oil on it. This is for your feed dogs to go up and down. Got a little pivot back here on each side. Each end has a pivot. You got a oil hole here. And here. Here. Down here. Around here. Around this screw. Alright. There's another spot in here. I'm just going to drip an oil in there. See if I can get it to there. There's going to be a couple spots that I can't oil without dismantling it more. But uh, that covers the bottom. All right, I think I got them all. Yeah, that looks like them all. All right, let's uh, let's take a look at the back side. All right, last spot to hit with some oil. Now I said I wasn't dismantling it, and what I mean by that is these two covers. If you were doing a regular oil, you would take these covers off. Dismantling, I mean taking all the parts off and cleaning them and adjusting everything properly. So, but anyways, let's uh, just get a little bit of oil in here and it's only for the stitch length knob that I'm getting in here and up here there's a little pivot spots that I like to get but anyways that's it now we can get some thread on this and see if it'll stitch
Hat. Who hat? Don't do this at home, kids. I just don't have any treadle belts. Okay, uh, let's give this a go. Uh, unlock the stop motion, and oh well, that's not working. Well, the bobbin winder's working, but <laughs> the machine's still going. Gonna have to take that hand wheel off and get that stop motion oiled up. Guess I don't have to do too much here, eh? We're just doing a test stitch, right? It's good to see that bobbin winder's working. There we go. What do you guys think of that little trick? It's pretty neat, eh? All right, let's get this bobbin set in the machine and uh, get this machine going. Okay, guys, I've got the old sticky needle out of there. I've got a new needle in the machine and uh, I'm just gonna pick up the bobbin thread right now, just to be fair, so you guys see this is the first time. I'm not, I have not run a stitch, guys. I'm being 100% honest with you. You guys are seeing this machine run a stitch for the first time with just oil. You've seen everything I did. Okay, it's got to get this machine set up. I've just had this machine floating in here. So bear with me if I have to adjust it a little bit. Because I have to make sure that that treadle belt is not rubbing over here. Because this machine's not clamped down. It's heavy enough it stays in place. Anyways, I've got some black felt here. And... Uh, Let's give this a go. Now, <laughs> I don't know guys, I'm a little nervous myself, tell you the truth. It might not work. I haven't adjusted anything. I haven't checked anything. Um, I, haven't, I haven't even touched the upper tension. So, let's give this a go. You're going with me for the first time. Oh, it's running a stitch, I see that. All right, that's the first stitch, guys. I have not touched the upper tension. I have not touched the bobbin tension. I just put new thread on everything. You've seen it. You walked with me. There's the green. And I did red on the bottom. What did I pick up here? <laughs> Look at that. I pulled out. I pulled out from the feed dogs. <laughs> Old lint. But the, th the stitching is perfect. Look at that, guys. I am not joking. I didn't do anything. I just put oil in this machine, guys. 130 plus years. And look at that. Look at this machine go, guys. Well, I'm going to be pulling this machine apart and giving it a nice cleaning and polishing. And uh, you guys come back and we'll see what this machine looks like. All polished and cleaned. Boy, she's noisy. <laughs> Anyways, guys, that's it my new machine my 130 year old new machine sounds weird saying that thanks for coming along hope you guys enjoy this little challenge and uh stay tuned for an upcoming video when i give this machine a nice cleaning and you guys get to see it in the state of uh, preservation all right take care guys i'm gonna go deal with my dogs <laughs>